Oh, that was so close. That was so close, man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? What? What is this STV mate? Look. This game has been very interesting so far. I'm gonna go spot the. I guess spot it. Ah. Uh. Wait, I wasn't spotted. This battle, a viewer challenged me to do 10k combined damage for $25, but can we get it? Fjord is an incredibly bad map for lights, especially from this side, but I will show you how you can make the best of it. First, head towards the middle and knock these two trees down. This way you can shoot the tanks that are trying to get up towards the middle, and also, if you're using CVS, you can spot their trees in the back sometimes. I will shoot there. You can also shoot EBR if he pushes up a little bit. TBR is never gonna spot me, I think. There's a guy there with a TD, but my view range doesn't negate their camo enough. Nice. This point in time, I mean, uh, let's try again to peek here. Maybe we'll spot someone. But it's hard, it's hard man. They knocked all the trees down and stuff. I think going to the north is more useful. It's not gonna be easy, man. They have a chieftain here, fully decked out. The enemy is pushing hardcore into our lines, and to counter this a little bit, I will look for a bush to try to spot the entirety of the field, and I will even see them behind all the bushes thanks to my equipment. How do I do this? That's a nice kill. We removed the chieftain here. It can be an okay game still. I gotta get up here though, this side, so I can spot the light. If the light dies, then I can control this side fully. Since these bushes do not exactly give the best camo as they are very short and since the MT100 can also be running CVS I will have to be extremely careful how I play this. One very neat thing you can do to counter CVS is to use two bushes to hide behind as you can see here. Oh man he's so lucky. He is so lucky. There's a the light. I'll kill him dude. I have to. He didn't even spot me. Okay. I'm trying to get some better angles on this guy. But the chieftain is still there, so... I'm gonna destroy this hut. So I can spot the chieftain on the left side of this bush. Through the bushes. But now our situation is stabilized. They don't have the... You know? They don't have the view range anymore here to, to fight in the open. Rogetto. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Careful, careful. Chief can spot you. He's pushing. At some point, I will expose myself, but they have the false feeling of security. And we need to abuse that, to exploit that. See? The Leo just pushes because he thinks that nobody is here anymore spotting. If he dies, that would be great. That is also too easy, man. Progetto. That's TOV. They have too much. As I explained earlier, the fact that they have no idea where I am makes them just push into the open since they don't know that they are permaspotting and because of this our RTs can work on reusing their HP. There will be a crucial moment though where I will have to expose myself and you will see that soon. We can still get some more spotting damage here by RT. Nice. And this is hard of course. We still have a full HP IS7 though. The chief has moved away from his early position to try and push around and well, I have to leave otherwise he proxies me. Nah, he's not dumb, dude. He is not dumb, dude. The chief is pushing into a crossfire with the Progetto. Maybe I'll go around them, dude. Maybe maybe I'll drop behind them and shoot them in the ass. Oh my god, imagine. Yeah, we can do that, man. We can go for the VZ, shoot him in the ass. We need to win this game, bro. I wanna win. We can go behind the VZ. Maybe if he, if he comes back, well, I'm fucked. But we need to take risks at this point. Whatever. 
The gorilla has started pushing me, now I don't think he knows where I am, he just wants to help his crown platoon mate. I have to get away as soon as possible, unspotted. The problem with this situation is that I have 9 second reload time and I will need 6 shells to kill all of 3 RTs. Now that means for 45 seconds I have to be running around like an idiot trying to dodge all of them while running from the gorilla too. I don't have the DPM for this fight. Look at those piggies man. <coughs> We killed all three piggies, boys. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, there is no way I'm winning this, man. They're just capping. Like, if they weren't capping, man, I would have very, very small chance. But even then, I have to shoot ten times, man, to kill them. As I was just going to hunt the FE down because there was no way I would get back in time to decap, look who I found. Good morning, STRV. They just go AFK. I left the cap, bro. It is obvious that the capper tank is the FETD and he's a one shot to my HE. And how do I know that? Well, he was already capping by the time I finished killing the Artis and the Gorilla and Chief were both clearing out our crown on the bottom side. Winnable? No, it's not winnable, man. You understand they have a Chieftain and half HP and I'm a one shot. There is a 30% chance I'm approaching from this side, but since the gun handling of this tank is incredibly bad, I already slowed down a bit to have a guaranteed kill shot. To make the enemies confused and obscure my position, I make a swing in our base and start going towards the middle shortly before going to my final anti-push position on the B line. This however makes me lose precious time and they can catch me. Timing, bro! Okay, buddy. Ah, oh, man, I can't, dude. That bounce fucked me up, dude. I had to take the chance of shooting him in the ass there, too. Because then the grill will come up anyway. And I have to kill him in time. I have to kill the chief in time because then the grill will come up and then I will die anyway. The timing was really bad there, dude. If the chief wouldn't have spotted me there, it would have been winnable, but this was unlooko. Well, guys, we got the Dumitrus medal, man. That's all that matters, huh? Who was this guy? He wasn't bad. As you may have seen in my previous video, the Manticore is just perfect for this map. I first go to the mid house, and since I have the best combo and view range of all lights at tier 10, I will easily outspot all of the enemies, even at longer ranges through bushes. This Tiva 100 was a smart player. I already noticed that during the loading screen, and he's also platooning with two TDs, so they will be aiming for him all the time. So therefore, I have to be extra careful and have to think one step ahead. You will see how. You can see how I try to avoid him by going to the other side. From this side, you can easily outspot all the camping TDs at the verse camo, even if they're just sitting on these bushes by the house stationery. Good job. My TDs are better than yours. Are you supposed to be SCVS? Yeah, CVS, man. Nice. I'm gonna change now sides. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm the alpha gamer, man. I am the alpha lighting gamer. Not alpha, Sigma. Sigma grind set, man. Nice. Get obliterated, son. I'm gonna go for the FP, guys. Uh, actually, I should probably go back and spot the A line. Guys, go back, go back, fall back, fall back, fall back. You will die. I will, I will uh, spot for you. I, I will. 230 meters, the one for doesn't see me. Okay, why not? 
Can you one-shot that lo lovely individual? I understand that the enemies have completely won and overtaken the city and now are getting ready to push us along the A line. To counter this, I tell my trees to fall back and aim while I knock a tree down and spot the whole line. It doesn't look very good for us, guys. I am not gonna lie, bro. This guy doesn't know he's perma-spotted, though. Why are you shooting HG at him, STB? He's not gonna disappear, though. Nice, good job. Notice how I don't stay in one spot? That's because there are trees in front of me that would otherwise block my vision on the guys in the city. Man, my TD players are the biggest gamers here, man. Go 100. Nice, big damage, man. Look at this shit, boys. Look at this damage, man. All them boys are spotted. Look at all those guys. Nice. Empty, big gamer, man. This could be great. Nice. There is no way he's gonna blind that bush. He's aiming right at me, bro. Uh, uh, As you can see, we have gained a massive HP advantage over them and completely stopped the enemy in their tracks. I cannot emphasize the fact enough that once you get rid of the enemy lights and you're playing on an open map, you can beat the difference between a quick loss and a well-deserved victory. What's on the new TD? I will release a video either tomorrow or on Sunday. Should we stay here or should we go? Because we can go through the middle maybe. I mean, listen empty. I will... Let's go through the mid empty. <laughs> okay guys. Let's uh, let's find uh, some gamers man, shall we? That FE platoon is still alive man. Still at large. I don't think they have anything here bro. They, have, they still have a Manticore by the way. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a problem, guys. <laughs> okay! My, 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 my boy just got pinned by RT. Okay. And of course, as a passive scout, you're allowed to shoot. It's important, though, however, to only shoot when there is absolutely no risk of taking a shot back. After the SRV goes down behind the hill, I take the opportunity of proxy spotting the one shot FTD, hoping my team gets rid of him. Beep boop. Nice, boys. I will try and go spot the STRV, man. This is safe, you can come empty. They, we have massively better HP than them, man. Wait, the fee? Goodbye. Guys, uh, I'm gonna spot those guys again. I don't know where the, the Manticore is. On 40, it's a crown. Probably spotted me for that. No, he didn't. I mean, I can kill the crown here for free. Nice. Empty. You're aiming for. Look, that's the IS7. He spots me. Nice. <laughs> Yo, I love playing lights, man. Oh my god, it's so good. Good, sh good shot, empty. Good shot. Is the Manticore. You wonder he's not even here, man. Why are you running, mate? Where are you running, bro? I I'm just trying to make some be some friends. I'm just trying to make some make some friendship over here, bro. You know? Bro, I don't have a rammer, man. Oh, he's never gonna out reload me. No way. What did you just say? This already player, man. Jeez. Ah, no way, man. Guys, 12k combined. GG. <laughs> GG boys. When you are playing light, you can make it much more fun with getting one or two platoon mates, since they will have lots of stuff to shoot and you are guaranteed to get those gun marks and missions done much more easily. Erlenberg is a horrible corridor map and you are very limited in terms of spotting. Going to this bush however usually yields the best results on the whole map. Be careful though, it is a rather obvious one.
Mm -hmm. Since I see that the enemy lightning is spotted on the other side, that means I can play much more aggressively over here. By the way, I really love the RHM Panzerwagen and I honestly think it doesn't deserve half of the bad fame the community has created for it. It has incredible mobility, really nice view range and a super good gun with high alpha and HE damage. It is however very tall and sometimes it is hard to find good pushes for it that cover you fully. It has also zero armor and is huge, so whenever you are trying to active scout or run from somewhere, you will definitely take shots since it is very easy to hit. This STV is just sitting there. I'll be aggressive here. Nice, nice, nice. Since we already cleared out the entirety of the zero line, it is time to move in towards the city and showcase you the firepower of this tank. Together with my Leo 1, we will try to make an impact here. One of those three resolutions. Okay. <laughs> Sneak cheeky bicky cheeky bricky like Careful <laughs> The C4 is getting bamboozled man Big time To be there Well played, man. Fired. I'll kill him. Never mind, Ellie. Where's the STB? Where's the AX? No, I do not have... Oh. He's still here, bro. Barbecue time. Four o'clock, guys. Nice. Now I gotta, I gotta run down the K line now. Spot all the remaining enemy forces, man. Oh. This tank has an incredible view range of 420, which, when used in combination with CVS, will do miracles. Nice. Light. That's pretty lucky, man, I'm not gonna lie. AX is not spotted anymore. But I will go. I have to dodge the FP to the shot, that's all I gotta do, man. Sweet, 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 sweet. Even though this tank does not have the best camo from tier 10 lights, you can still boost it to 46% with the usage of low noise exhaust and camo directives. Mm, boom. Yeah, boom. Hi. Nandoko. Any tips for improving at lights? Watch my videos. Play passive in the beginning, and after that you can play more aggressive, man. Don't don't just yolo spot. Don't just yolo spot, man. It's stupid. GG, man. Literally free. If you want to become a great lighting player and have these kinds of battles, you have to do one thing. Play passive in the beginning and let the enemy lights make the mistakes first. This way you can survive until the very end of the battle and have games like I do. Here I take a passive push to spot the enemy regime in case he yolos. Although I get impatient however and leave early. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll pass this fight. He'll try and spot me again. He's putting himself in harm's way. <laughs> okay! I, I love this Sakamo system, man. Did you see that? I, I kind of have to YOLO him, man, otherwise... Since nobody on this flank from the enemy team has been spotted yet, I make the decision of proxying this guy. Oh man, they have a one to one b sniping already. He can die from the city, though. That's good stuff. Nice, easy. There we go, man. Now I control the open field. 
They're pushing really hard on the one two. Let's uh, clear the J line. They have nothing else, right? They are playing very aggressively on the other side, man. Which which tells me that there's nothing on this side here, unless we're talking about an AFK two four thirty U man or a gorilla that's trying to cross back. Both are welcome, obviously. Nice. This guy is also spotted. And so is that guy. Once the enemy light tank is dead on Murabanka, you can just sit in these bushes and spot all their tanks that are camping at the red line or are trying to cross back into safety towards their base. It's a spotted man in the open. It's a spotted. He woke up. Dude, come on. He's been standing in the open for so long, brother. Come on. Okay, I don't even know how I spotted the E4, by the way, but I guess I got some spotting damage for it. Dude, come on, guys, man. That's not a hard shot. Full side. He literally gets away, man. Okay. Um, we have to get a little bit closer. Oh, nice. Stb needs to die, he's spotting me. And then we need to sneak on the red line after that. Which I'm already gonna start doing. To deal with the fact that the enemy team has taken the one to the number of Anka, all you have to do is sneak through the red line here. You will see just how brilliantly it works. Uh -huh. so I'm just gonna YOLO man, there's no point in sitting here anyway. He's stunned, he shouldn't spot me anymore. Yeah, but that doesn't mean this tank is shit. Johnson, like, I can do the same with the Manticore and still not get spotting damage, man, you feel me? Like, literally, that's the same. Hey, boo. What a gamer, bro. I'm good on fire, man. There's one more RC, by the way. There you go. Gosh. You should do once. Ah, so close. So close, man. 9k, bro. Literally 1k missing, man. 900 damage missing, man. Sad. In this battle, the enemy EBR is a unicorn player. Let me just show you how you deal with those pesky yellowing wheelies on Westfield. Okay, let's see. There's also a promo code for it. CBR is gonna know I'm here. Nice. Nice. Seabear is gonna yell at me for sure. I need to try and spot him. Oh, he doesn't know chat? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, what happened, EBR? CSA EBR? Deals in the open. A disease there. Nobody expects this position, man. They, they still don't. These guys need to start watching my videos on light tanks, man. They don't, they don't, they don't expect this position. So efficient. Let's see if the EBR is gonna try to go away. A disease there. He might try to proxy me. In that case, I'm gonna have to be quick. This guy. Who's the EBR? Come on. Nice. One light down. Sweet, sweet. CSA lighting down, chat. 
Oh, look, he's smart. Wait, what? What? STRV blinds me from the... What? I'm gonna go with it. Let's clear out this WZ. I don't think he's here anymore. Oh, he is. Nice. Easy Katka. Easy Katka, guys. See? Methodically. Methodically. And now we're gonna take over the whole map. We're gonna... We're gonna give some love to those people. Okay, guys. It's time to spot those big gamers, man. They're never gonna commit here, are they? Oh, they ran. Do you think they ran? Where are they? Let's go closer. I think those guys ran. They must have. Let's see how, how far they ran back though. That's uh, another thing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was so close. That was so close, man. We know where they ran, dude. Look at all those gamers there. 50 deep. STRV in the open field. Boys. Shoot him, boys. Shoot him up. I need to get a little bit closer towards the red line here. There's all the, also the Leo and stuff. I'm, I'm careful about the, the STRV. It's getting closer. But I want to keep those guys spotted right there. I think it's very important at the moment. Still getting some spotting damage on those guys. Not gonna be that much though. At the moment, man. We're just kinda... 50 bin needs to die before I push, before I do anything really. I wanna push this STRV man. I can go hold down, like down there. 330. Under 300 meters, when you have over 46% camo value, you will not be spotted. In case you have around 52-53%, you won't be spotted until you reach 260 meters. And these values are just estimates and obviously will vary on the enemy's view range and whether they're running optics. He's not gonna fade. I'm in a perfect position here to spot him. He's not gonna fade there like ever. But I understand it's hard for my team to pan him there because it's a it's an STRV and we have like Leo one and stuff. Oh dude, this Arty man is scaring the shit out of me. Hello, Paint. Look at this guys. Look at this man. Ah, oh, they have no idea, bro. They literally have no clue whatsoever what's going on, man. Ah, poor Gorilla man. He can't even hide. This theory is still spotted, man. Dude, look at, the, look at the amount of spotting damage we're getting from here. That's crazy, bro. Imagine if I just load HE now, I kill him. Never mind. Good. I'm gonna... Let's get the stance. <laughs> oh my god, the Leo pens with HE, man. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my god, man. Easy Katka, guys. 8.2k, man. I love Westfield, man. Westfield is so good. I love this map, bro. Look at this guy. Fancy a barbecue in the ass, Leo? Oh. Well, looks like somebody else barbecued him, huh? You didn't even invite me for that barbecue, agent. What? Nice your range. Monsieur Jak Panzer. Uh huh. Zooming. Oh, oh. And that is why, my friend, you use server reticle. That is why you use server reticle, my type friend. Guys, beautiful game. 9.7k, guys. 10k combined, man. 10k combined. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? what? What is this STV, mate? He's a pacifist, chat. He's a pacifist. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to shoot. Look! Look, he's a pacifist! He doesn't care, bro! This game has been very interesting so far. I'm gonna go spot the... I guess spot it. Ah. Wait, I wasn't spotted! I wasn't spotted, chat! If you got to the end of the video, congratulations, you are a legend! If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, it honestly helps me out massively as a YouTuber. And stay tuned because some big things are going to come on this channel. And as always...